everyone and welcome to a new tutorial for me and I know many people have asked me how I make my um, watermarks as well how I edit uh, my pictures so I'm using Photoshop Elements 9 and in this short video tutorial I will show you how to create your own watermark Basically, I make the watermarks like brushes, so then I can use the brush to apply to any picture. So I have it saved and it's easy to apply. So I have my Photoshop Elements 9 open and I'll go to File and open new blank file. Uh, make sure that your background contents is set to transparent and then you can set the width and the height. So I'll do, um, my height will be shorter, so I'll do 606 and 1218. It doesn't really matter because we can crop it afterwards. So you'll notice that the background is like a checkboard. So next you'll uh, choose the text tool and you will apply. Next you can change your color. I usually do black so you can see it. And I've set my font to, let's do, um, I'll do 40. You can change here, you'll need to type it out because it's not in the list. And I will do the part where it says created by Selena Krauss. And then I'll do my move tool and center this one. So this will be a little larger than the rest of the text, so I'll again choose my text tool and I'll choose smaller font this time. I'll go with 36, let's see how big that will be. And I'll uh, do images, copyright, stamping up, and then the next row will be my blog address. And next, I'll just move this one, and it's I like a little bit smaller, so I'll just like double click on that, select the text, and let's see how I think 30 is fine. So, and then you can move them around. Usually, I do like alignment is like uh, center, like this. Well, this is not really, but when you double click like this, so you can like I have centered those. So I think this is fine. And then I'll go to the crop tool and I'll crop my image, the text. So, and then click OK. So, then go to edit and then uh, click on define pad define brush. So, define brush. And you can give it a name, so I can do watermark, watermark 2, click OK, and your watermark is now created, your brush. So if you go to your brushes, and try to pick it, and here's at the end, is your watermark. So next what you can do is you can open an image, a picture. I'll choose the first one here. So there we go. And then first actually crop this image. This is not edited picture or anything, so and then see. Pick my brush. It's still too small, so I can go under size and edit the size how big I want to be. And then under color here, you can edit your color, so I'll do white. Usually do black, white, or gray, and then you can set the opacity. If you do 100%, it's very bright and very bold color, so you can see. So I'll remove that. Usually do like 25 to 29 to 30%, so I'll do like 28. So it's more subtle and it's more kind of transparent. So, and there you have it. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you, see you in the next tutorial where where uh, I will show you how to how I edit my pictures. Uh, I mean, my pictures of the cards I'm taking. So thanks for watching, and see you soon.